mga kawawmat, in this video, we will factor quadratic trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Also, we will solve problems involving factors of polynomials. Alright, let's start. So first, let us try to list all pairs of integers or factors of the following numbers. So, ibigay natin lahat ng possible pairs of integers or factors ng mga numbers na to. So, first, we have 4. So, we have 1 and 4 or 2 and 2. Okay, and then 6, we have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. For 8, we have 1 and 8, 2 and 4. For 10, we have 1 and 10, 2 and 5. Let's have another. So, we have 12. So, we have 1 and 12, 2 and 6. 3 and 4. For 18, we have 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. For 20, we have 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. For 30, we have 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10. So, these are just the ex uh, these are just examples, okay? Na gagamitin natin mamaya in factoring general trinomials. Okay, so a quadratic trinomial is just part of or an example of quadrat uh, general trinomials. Okay, so how to factor quadratic trinomial? So unang-unang titingnan pag sinabi natin quadratic trinomial, it is in the degree of 2. So dapat second degree siya. Ang highest exponent mo ay 2. Kung kapag hindi siya 2, ibig sabihin that is not quadratic. Okay? So, since x squared plus bx plus c, this is a, an example of quadratic trinomial. So, paano natin siya ipa-factor? First, we will list all pairs of integers whose product is c. So, mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang pairs of integers na kapag minultiply natin, ang product niya ay c. At kapag inad naman natin siya, ang sum niya ay yung middle term which is your b. Okay? So therefore, the factored form of quadratic trinomial x squared plus bx plus c is equal to the product of x plus m and x plus n. Alright. So ulitin ko, x squared plus bx plus c this is our factored form, x plus m times x plus n, where b is the sum and c is the product. Okay, so you will think of two integers, pairs of integers, na ang sum niya, pag inad natin, ay b. Pag minultiply naman natin, the resulting product must be c. And this is our factored form. Let's have an example. I have x squared plus 10x plus 16. So, in the given example, first, list all pairs of integers whose product is c. Alright. So, tatandaan na kapag nagbibigay tayo ng pairs of integers, dito tayo titingin. If this is positive, dapat yung dalawang integer mo or pair of integers, dapat it's either both positive siya or both negative. So, ayan lang ang pagpipilian mo. So, ito ang titingnan natin. So, since positive yan, ibig sabihin, it's either both positive or both negative. Now, paano natin malalaman kung alin dito sa dalawang to? Dito ka naman titingin. Okay? So, since plus to or positive, therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay ito. Alright. So, we will have, what are the factors of 16? We have 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. Okay, so nalista na lahat ng e integers, pairs of integers. Next, we will choose a pair whose sum is B. So, pili ka dito na kapag inad mo, ang sum niya ay yung B, yung gitna, yung middle term. So, obviously, it's 2 and 8. Okay, so we will use 2 and 8. So, therefore, this will serve as our m and n. Remember, our factor is in the form of x plus m and times x plus n. So, therefore, the factored form of x squared plus 10x plus 16 is equal to 
the product of x plus 2 times x plus 8. Next. So, I have x squared minus 9x plus 18. So, again, lista natin lahat ng pairs of integers. Na kapag minultiply natin, ito dapat ang kalalabasan. So, now, since positive ulit to, it's either parehong positive or parehong negative yan. Para ang resulting product will be positive. Now, since negative yung middle term natin, therefore, dapat yung dalawang integers natin ay parehong negative. So, we will have now negative 1 and negative 18, negative 2 and negative 9, negative 3 and negative 6. So, kung mapapansin nyo, all of these uh, pairs of integers are all product uh, factors of 18. Okay? So, next, we will choose a pair whose sum is B. So, dapat negative 9. So, alin dito ang negative 9 kapag inad natin? So, we have negative 3 and negative 6 and that is negative 9. Therefore, our factored form is x, uh, from x squared minus 9x plus 18 is x minus 3 and x minus 6. Next, I have x squared minus 2x minus 24. So, this is a different case, okay? So, first, list all the pairs of integers. So, again, dito tayo titingin. Since negative ito, ibig sabihin yung pairs of integers natin dapat isang positive, isang negative. Okay, now, paano natin malalaman dun sa dalawang integers na yon kung ano ang positive at ano ang negative? Okay, so dito tayo titingin. Since negative to, ibig sabihin, negative ang larger integer mo. So, the larger integer must be negative. Yung mas mababa na integer, yun ang positive natin. So, lagi lang tayo dito titingin. Okay, so therefore we have 1 and negative 24, 2 and 12, negative 12, 4 and negative 6, 3 and negative 8. So, all of these are factors of 24. Now, since negative nga ito, ang larger integer natin ay negative. So, obviously, yung 8 natin yun ang negative. Yung 6 natin yun ang negative. Same as 12 and 24. Alright? So, next, we will choose a pair whose sum is B. So, dapat, pag inad natin, ang sum niya ay negative 2. So, alin kaya dito? This one. So, we have 4 and negative 6. And that is equal to negative 2. So, therefore, our factored form of x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equal to the product of x plus 4 and x minus 6. Next, I have x squared plus 3x minus 10. So, first step, same procedure. You have to list all the pairs of integers whose product is c. Okay? So, ano nga ulit ang mga signs? Since negative to, dapat isang positive, isang negative ang pairs of integers natin. Now, saan natin i-assign yung positive at negative? Dito ka titingin. Dapat, yung positive mo ay yung larger integer. So, yung smaller integer, yun yung negative. Alright? So, we have negative 1 and 10, negative 2 and 5. So, Kung mapapansin nyo, yung larger integer natin, yun yung positive. Okay? So, next, choose a pair whose sum is B. So, pili ka naman, anong pair dito na kapag inad natin ay positive 3? Obviously, it's negative 2 and 5. So, that is 3. So, therefore, our factored form A of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to x minus 2 and x plus 5. Next, I have x squared plus 3x plus 3. So, again, list all the pairs of integers whose product is C. So, since positive to, dapat parehong positive or parehong negative. So, we have 1 and 3. Now, since 1 and 3 is equal to 4 na hindi siya sum ng middle term natin, di ba, lagi dapat, 
kung ano yung uh, sum ng dalawang integers, dapat itong middle term yon. Since we do not have a choice, we only have these factors. So, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. It doesn't satisfy the, the quadratic trinomial. So, then, x squared plus 3x plus 3 cannot be factored using integer coefficients. Then, it is an example of prime tri trinomial. So, ito yung tinatawag nating prime trinomial because it cannot be factored. Next. Let us try to solve a problem. So, use factoring to find the dimensions of the given box with volume represented by the expression 4x cubed plus 16x squared minus 48x. So, unang-unang titingnan natin at mapapansin nyo that the given expression or trinomial is not a quadratic trinomial. Why? Because the highest degree is 3. So, alam naman natin that a quadratic trinomial must be uh, on the second degree. So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is 3. So, this is not a quadratic trinomial. So, first, we will factor out 4x. So, we will have 4x times x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay? So, etong nasa loob na to, pag minultiply natin sa 4x, this will be the result. Alright? So, now... We have now this quadratic trinomial. So, we can now factor. Okay? So, factor x squared plus 4x minus 12. So, we will just copy 4x. And then, x squared plus 4x minus 12. So, again, since negative to, dapat ang dalawang integers natin, it's isang positive, isang negative. Now, paano malalaman kung ano ang positive at negative? Since positive to, yung larger integer mo ay dapat... Uh, uh, positive. Alright? And then, dapat yung uh, product nito, eh, uh, yung factors nito, dapat, pag in natin, this is the resulting sum. Okay? So, 6 and negative 2 is equal to 4. 6 times negative 2, that is negative 12. Alright? So, therefore, the dimension of the box are 4x x plus 6, and x minus 2. Alright, let's wrap up. So again, paano natin malalaman ng signs? Kapag positive ito, it's either both positive or both negative lang yan. Okay? So paano natin malalaman kung alin dyan sa dalawa? Dito katitingin, since plus yan, ibig sabihin, ang dalawang integers natin ay parehong positive. Next, so, since positive ulit, it's either posi both positive or both negative. So, since negative to, ang gagamitin mong integers ay parehong negative. Next, I have uh, minus. So, ibig sabihin yung isa positive, yung isa negative. How will you know? So, tingin ka dito, since positive yan, dapat ang larger integer mo ay positive. And then, the last case, if this is negative, again, you must have one positive and one negative integer. So, dito ka titingin, ibig sabihin that your larger integer must be negative. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!